So if you are going to figure out what the past was like, tens of thousands of years ago, millions of years ago, billions of years ago, you're going to be using the laws of nature you see now and pretending that those laws go back always the same. The minute I question that assumption, maybe they didn't go back always the same, then your projection is not valid. Maimonides says it doesn't go back that way. During the time of creation, the six days, in the six days, the stars and the earth and the ground and the water and the plants and the animals and the laws of nature were being created. They were coming into existence. And what we see in our world goes back only to the end of the six days. Beyond that, it was different and our projections are simply without foundation. There is, I just tell you this in general terms because the details are very complicated. You have the Big Bang. You certainly heard of that. It means that at one time, the universe was tiny, about the size of a proton, and half the proton, very, very small. The whole universe, including this whole synagogue, was in the size of a proton. And all the galaxies in the size of a proton. And it's been spreading out ever since. It started out spreading out very quickly, but then gravity slows it down. So it's slowing down, it's gradually slowing down. Well, there's a problem. Problem is, no matter which way you look, the energy of the universe looks almost completely constant. The temperature of space, which is not zero, the temperature of space, which is about three degrees Kelvin, is the same in all directions. How is that? What? Why is that? Why is it all the same? Was there something that equalized it, that made it the same? The way the traditional picture works, it's expanding too fast for light to get from one side to the other. If light can't get from one side to the other, there's nothing to equalize it. So you know what they did? They invented, for a tiny fraction of a second, a gigantic explosion of space. You imagine the thing growing, 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 then for a fraction, it goes like this, and then it's growing leisurely from there. In one fraction of a second, it grows like this. When you do that, before that gigantic expansion, it was very small. When it was very small, light could get from one side to the other and make it equal. That means that the growth of the universe wasn't constant. It wasn't constant. It started off at a leisurely pace, then all of a sudden blew up, and then went back to going very leisurely. In other words, they don't believe the laws of nature are constant either, when they don't, when they don't need them to be. When they need them to change, they can postulate that they should change also. So, Maimonides' statement is born out in spades. There are different pictures of how the laws work, and the idea of holding them constant is not, is not universally agreed upon. Steven Weinberg, Nobel Prize laureate in physics, writes in a book, Dreams of a Final Theory, in several modern cosmological theory, the so-called constants of nature actually vary from place to place, from time to time. The first lesson is, you want to know about the distant past, you're using the laws of nature. And that's a gigantic assumption, that the laws of nature have always been the same as a gigantic assumption. And frankly, I don't have to roll over and play dead for assumptions. If science establishes something, it's one thing. If science makes an assumption and then concludes, that's quite another story. I don't think we have to simply uh, change our views or, or the way we look at the world because science made an assumption. And that's background. It's background for the age, the age of the universe and in general how you look at the past. 